and Lightstep, we're able to get to the bottom of an investigation in just a couple of clicks. Now, in this example, I'll assume the role of an inventory service developer. And in this example, we've gotten reports from the iOS team that every once in a while, customers report difficulty or latency when they're trying to update the inventory of their store. It's not happening all the time, but enough that we should dig in and try and understand what's going on. Now, you'll see a number of different operations here listed as a key operation. Importantly, Lightstep is analyzing all of the different operations within a service and giving you top line changes bubbled up right to the top of the list. So in this case, this 95th percentile of latency in our update inventory call is degraded. So we're putting that right at the top. And as we hover over our latency chart, we're able to see that there is in fact a spike and it seems correlated with a particular version of our inventory service, which we'll dig into in just a moment. Now, key operations are configured out of the box as any ingress operation, so an API endpoint as an example, but you do have the ability to add additional key operations. In this case, I've added the database update operation as a key operation, which will enable stack rank changing and version over version deployment analysis. This is pretty exciting. Earlier this year, we launched deployments analysis to give teams the ability to dig in and try and understand how a deployment might be impacted uh, by other callers or other services in the system. And we've expanded this support now with version over version support. So you can see as we hover over our charts, we can see the traffic for each individual service in the same view and understand the latency associated with those builds. To understand where this is coming from, we'll simply click on the chart for latency and tell Lightstep to compare the new build to the previous one. Now, as we dive into a particular root cause analysis investigation on latency, there's a couple of things that are worth noting. The first is that we capture infrastructure metrics alongside our tracing and log data collection. Now, in this case, you can see CPU, memory, garbage collection, some other infrastructural metrics for our Go playing environment, uh, but it looks like before and after the deployment, there's not much of a change, so we'll continue with our investigation. As we go down the list here, Lightstep is automatically analyzing all of the metadata associated with our traces. So in this case, a large batch equals true tag and a service version tag were both identified to have had pretty significant correlation. Uh, in this case, over one second of change attributed to this large batch equals true. So we're gonna go ahead and click and start to build our global filter for this investigation. This is a great tool that allows me to develop my hypotheses as I'm going through my RCA workflow. So in this case, uh, we're looking at large batch equals true. We do see that Lightstep has bubbled up to the top of my list here, this write cache operation in the inventory service. Now, before I move on, uh, we're going to go ahead and expand our operations diagram here to not only show the downstream callers, but our upstream callers as well. And in this case, I can confirm that the iOS app does make calls through this chain, but our Android and web apps do as well. While I haven't gotten any reports from those teams, it would be useful for me to share this data with them so they can be on top of any bug reports that might come in. We'll move on to log analysis. This is a new piece of functionality that we've introduced to allow you to capture log data from your application and infrastructure layers and embed them within the root cause analysis workflow. It also works with global filters. So you'll see as I go and add the right cache operation to my filter, our log analysis result set narrows down to only show me log events that were emitted with this pairing. And at any time, I can access the individual traces that are contextually relevant to this investigation. In this case, it looks like this call started from our web client and ended up experiencing the same degraded performance in the right cache operation that we were identifying earlier. Now, we'll go back and do the same thing with errors, but in this case, switch over to the iOS service, uh, because in this case, we're actually not talking with the inventory service, uh, but we do see a spike when we're making a git store call. I'll go ahead and zoom into that error spike, and you can see that Lightstep again bumps that to the top of our list because the rate of change is something that we should be concerned about. And I'll go ahead and just click on the error spike and give Lightstep a baseline window for comparison. Again, the metrics here uh, don't seem to be changed significantly across the window that we're analyzing, so we'll move down with our filtering. 
Now this is very powerful. In this case, we have a sea of red in our operations diagram. Uh, but LightStep identifies the sole source of any particular error and allows us to go right to the source. So in this case, though we started our investigation on the iOS app where we had about 780 logs and thousands of traces, we're gonna go ahead and narrow down to that get store call. In our log analysis, we're able to see the data is pre-filtered. In this case, it looks like during the regression window, we had a bunch of error messages telling us that for a particular subset of store IDs, we were trying to process too many requests. In a matter of seconds, I'm able to take the entire architecture, a particular problem within a particular service, and narrow down to see exactly where the root cause is coming from, even if it's elsewhere in my stack.